But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. Tools are wheeled back in, so we're going to crack on with this. Right, that popped out all right, used the chisel, locked it in the vise and tapped it with the chisel, and that popped out. So it looks like you can separate these. So I'm going to have a go now, and if I do separate it out, that'll give me a chance to put some grease in there as well. So I'm going to get the facelifted one now and try and pop it apart. Just undo it from the start, and, uh, from the wiper motor as well. I'm lock that in the vise now and try and fit the pre-facelift spindle to the facelift bars. Here we go. Right, that popped out quite well. Not easy. It was a good fit, so it's a, it's not a worn socket. It popped out satisfyingly, should I say? So there you go. There's a facelifted um, spindle in the vise. Now I'm going to put in the pre-facelift one and pop the linkage arm back together with some, after packing some grease onto it. I think I'll use some Livium grease for that. Okay, here we go. Bad to the bone. Okay, packed in with grease and clipped back in. Went in with a nice satisfying pop. So there's, beginning to fix up this linkage arm now and convert it to pre-facelift. So that end no problem. This end a bit tricky because you've got that that uh, double assembly there, so we're going to um, cut, I'll pop it out, then cut it, and then I'll weld on, and we're done for that end as well. Okay, let's do that operation now, let's pop that out, let's chop it with the angle grinder, and let's weld Swampy's end on, and make that fully converted. Right, right, I've sliced that off, bit crude this, but block of wood just stood up by the vise, everything locked into the vise, this is to get the exact position when I put the new spindle on because I'm going to be welding it here, it could drift out so the spindle touches this block of wood, I'm going to mark it with paint where it touches the block of wood then I can, when I get the, uh, the other spindle in position for welding I'll get that spindle to touch the same spot so relatively they're finishing in the same place so that's how I've done a bit crew but it should work mark that with a yellow dot now could this be the last welding job of 2013? well I bet you it is could it be the last welding job ever, ever on the car? I don't know. So I'm just going to do that final measurement check again, just to make sure before I put this down. Just uh, there's the cut off piece. Now I need the, the donut. Get all the stuff ready. There's that donut done. Just cut the uh, video. There's the dirt. There's the cut. Oh, there we are. There's our two pieces. So original piece with it fitted onto the bracket like that and just touches the bottom of the squat cross I've drawn on the wood. I now hold this in until it touches the cross on the wood. Right I know where I'm at so mask down, gloves on and let's get that tacked on first then double check it and then finish it off. The last welding job hopefully the welder's ready to go. I'm not using it for a bit. Here we go. Right, got to hold it in with a good hand. Oh, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lose a glove because I can't. I don't think I can do it with the gloves on. Oh, I might be able to. Let's try. Got the wrong coloured top for welding, but it's only one job, so this is gonna be tricky. I can't hold it very well. Might just about, oh shit, the wood's moving. We're in trouble. Move the wood back. Double check with the original one. It's still on there. I'm going to have to go without the gloves. No way around it. I'm 
have to risk it just this once. Just get tack on. Here we go. I just got a tack on just before the heat got through. It's looking right there, touching the bottom of the wood. Can't see why that's not right. Okay, gloves on and now I can weld that up. We'll cut this now. I hope you enjoyed it. We're cutting this now because it's not enough not enough 15 minutes. That ain't going nowhere. That's well got it. Okay, so that's it. We've now fixed the spindles on. Take you in. So we're on, on we went there, we welded that on. That was that cross I was telling you about, which the other spindle was hitting. So we're in the same relative space touching that cross. So that should be right. Okay, great stuff. That's that job done. Alright, that's it. I wipe the clips on there like that and that's your that's your setup so we're all done there so I'll clean this up now and I'll, I'll grease the rest of those CV joints there those ball, ball and socket joints pop them apart and grease them like we did at uh, at this end here when we put that new fitting on that end so uh, pop these apart grease them and then uh, put some paint on where I've welded that and that's that done then we can just lightly wire brush this because it's already zinc galved I'm not going to disturb that might give it a, a, a light coat of paint perhaps not sure might just scrub it up it'll probably just clean up with um, a little um, wire uh, not wire those uh, copper scouring pads just quickly scour that pad that up just to bring a bit of brightness to it and then that's the end of the wiper linkage we're done we just need to put the wiper motor onto a, a refurbed housing which I've got uh, these old housings pan you around see I've got another one of those so I can put the refurbed starter motor with some clean bolts into the new housing and then bringing you around clip this on and then we've got a finished assembly there we go we'll test it as well I think I've got a scuttle panel upstairs and I can bolt the whole unit into the scuttle and actually run it and just make sure it all seems to to go just hoping that this hasn't affected any angles here it shouldn't have done because there's plenty of play in the ball and sockets there's a bit of movement a bit of give it should be all right but i'll double check anyway so grease these uh ball and sockets up paint that wire scouring pad on there just to shine it up a bit and then that's it for that bit uh, get this muck off this arm we may as well just clean it a little bit of uh, degreaser on there pack the grease into that socket job done that's it for that one let's move on to something else I'll, I'll cut the camera now too when it's all fully assembled there's no need to film those bits you've seen the tricky bit there if you want to do that on yours it looks like it's going to work so I'll cut to it fully assembled possibly wired into the harness over there with the wiper switch operating it let's have a go let's see what we can do see you in a sec okay well I beat you to it uh, when I said it was all be reassembled I thought I'd just show you packing out the grease into the ball and sockets so I'm just popping in some grease there for our ball and socket fittings and uh, putting it all back together again pop that back on and we're away to go and I'll do the other end as well all right cleaned and uh, have some cleaned up the paint and then give it a light galve, galve effect spray I didn't take any of the old galve off I just uh, smoothed it down with some uh, a light etch and then uh, just painted it up kept it clean so that's it that's refurbed that linkage is refurbed just letting it uh, set under the uh, infrared there speeds up the paint there's your join can you see no one's going to know that's there it's a good uh, a good world so uh, that's that refurbished so uh, that's what I was doing on New Year's Eve I was refurbing the wiper arm links I said I didn't know what job would uh, would break out I am going out it's New Year's Eve going for something to eat so I've got to wrap up early so um, 
don't know if this will make it into uh, 2013 or whether you'll be joining me watching this in 2014 and if you are welcome aboard to the new year uh, probably uh, uploaded on the first of the uh, sorry the second of the third of January 2014 maybe if I didn't make the edit tonight which I probably won't because I'm running out of time so it saw me fixing the wiper linkage and um, then cleaning up the harness there I've been doing a bit of cleaning of the harness in the new year we'll be take wrapping that up and finishing off on the dash and clearing the whole place out putting stuff away and then looking at what we're going to do next uh, we've got the center clocks to do we've got the crash pad to finish off the radio to install when they come back from Ireland, or the radio. Uh, a, t a tidy up required now, so that I start afresh. Don't want to be facing all this mess on New Year's Day. I will be doing a bit on New Year's Day, in fact. This well could be part of that film. So, uh, looking for minutes to fill. Running out of things to tell you. I suppose I'll just put everything away and... Um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So welcome aboard to 2014, that was a heavy year 2013 wasn't it, a lot went on. So time keeps moving on, you can't stop it, it just keeps on going, that's inevitable. We just keep going on, you just got, just got to keep ploughing through, just got to keep going, got to find the motivation, find the drive to keep you going on these restorations. I know what it's like out there for everyone else doing theirs, especially if you're outside. Hats off to anyone that's outside under canvas sheets my respect to you for that because I know it's uh, I've been there myself when I've not had a garage I know what it's like crawling around in the cold getting the motivation in situations like that is uh, a lot harder so it's hats off to those guys out there and girls who are working in the cold and the rain trying to find the motivation when it's cozy and warm inside but we love Cortina so that's why we do it we love classic cars so that's why we do it the reward comes in the summer in April and March um, when the season show season starts and we can take this car on the road and begin the, begin, begin the 2014 Swampy Tour look out for dates coming soon for that and um, we thank you for all your support in the last year all the comments on YouTube all the comments on Buy Sell Cortina all the support from the Mark Free Owners Club and everybody else as well that's not in that list thanking you for that happy new year to you and i uh, hope everything goes good that's it that's all i can say that's as far as we got come back uh, to a fresh start over and out for now i'll tidy up so when you start it's nice and clean senior new year end of this video over and out good night just so you know it's a happy new year to you i am here i am alive Okay, so uh, we say goodbye yet again. Wave the workshop goodbye for 2013. Let's see what projects we can bring you in the new year. Let's see what progress Swampy makes. It's going to be fun this year, putting it all back together. We've got all the stuff around us here. You see in the background there. You see the engine in the corner there. All this stuff ready to go. So, happy new year. See you soon. Over and out. We shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston a giant rocket more than 300 feet tall, the length of this football field, made of new metal alloys, some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses several times more than have ever been experienced fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communications, food, and survival on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that on the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictator's out, then we must be bold.